What's up everybody? I'm Eric back again here on day 10 of my quarantine. So I've been going through a bunch of old videos, old pictures, you know, I haven't had much to do. I've been thinking about ways I could share China with people, what China's actually like, because a lot of people really don't have any idea. You know, I've been living in China for eight years now, and every time I go home, I get a lot of questions about what China is like. One of the most common kind of themes of questions is what is driving in China like? I get questions like, is it confusing? Are the drivers bad? Are the roads bad? Do you need a Chinese driver's license to drive in China? Questions like that. I'm going to let some video roll while I speak. It's a video from my last road trip in China that I took. Let's take a look. I drove from Sichuan Banna to Jianshui, about a six or seven hour drive in western China in Yunnan province. This road trip I took last year in November 2019, so before the COVID-19 pandemic, before the world went on lockdown. But if you notice, there's not much traffic on the roads. So you might think that it's, you know, after the outbreak, after the pandemic started, but it's not. That's just how, actually how most highways are in China. So the first question, what is driving in China like? When driving in the big cities like Shanghai or Beijing, traffic is generally quite slow. So even if people drive like idiots, which they sometimes do, um, you can probably avoid a wreck. There's also quite a lot of pedestrians and cyclists and people on mopeds. But like I said, when you're in the big cities, traffic is generally quite slow. So it's not too difficult to get around without wrecking your car. Now that's quite different when you go out to the interstate, when you go to the highways. On the highways, there's almost never any traffic. The only times I've really noticed traffic on the highways are during holiday times like Spring Festival or when you're leaving big cities like Shanghai or Beijing or Guangzhou. When you're in those major metropolitan hubs, traffic can be quite bad on the highways. But otherwise, traffic on the highway is pretty much empty. In China, there's not a lot of history of car culture. A lot of families don't go on road trips. So interstate driving is mostly left to big trucks uh, and a few passenger cars. Okay, next question. Are the roads bad? Most of the roads, especially the highways, are very well maintained. They're no potholes, they're smooth, they're straight, the curves are banked. They're pretty much pristine. There's not very much traffic and you can go as fast as you really want to go, except for the fact that there are lots of cameras. There's cameras everywhere and they will give you a ticket and give you points on your license if you're speeding. Okay, are Chinese drivers bad? To be honest, uh, they can be. I have seen some wild stuff, you know, cars going the wrong way down the, the on-ramp or things like that. But for the most part, people do drive pretty well. It's just the worst drivers in China are really, really bad and really, really dangerous. Generally, the worst drivers I see are drivers in Mianbaocha. Mianbaocha is also called a bread van, or we might call them in the West a minivan. Those people generally drive like maniacs. The people in the Mianbaocha are generally like probably some somebody from a small village driving a bunch of people, also from some small village, and they probably don't even have a license. They don't really have any experience driving on, on proper roads and they just drive like maniacs. Okay, another question. If I cannot read Chinese, how do I know where I'm going? So this one is easy, I think. Um, of course we have apps. There's apps that will navigate for you. Apple Maps, uh, I believe Google Maps even works in China, I forget. I never use Google Maps. But um, there's also Baidu. There's a lot of different map apps that will tell you how to get to where you're going. Additionally, probably about 90% of the road signs have both Chinese and Pinyin. Pinyin is uh, the Romanized spelling of the words, aka the English spelling. So you don't need to learn to read Chinese to get around China. Okay, last question. Do you need a Chinese driver's license? Yes. You do, but it is actually quite easy to get. If you have a valid foreign license, all you need to do is to pass a written test on a computer. The test is available in many different foreign languages uh, and you must answer 90 out of 100 correct. It's really not difficult and there's an app that you can download that has all the questions. I think there's like 1500 questions, so you have to answer only 100 on the test and you have to get 90 of them correct. 
Okay. Do you have any other questions about driving in China? If you do, please comment below. Or if you have any other questions in general about living in China or about China, also you can comment. Um, I'll either reply to you on your comment or if I get enough questions, I will make a new video. And last but not least, please subscribe and please like this video. I would love to continue making more videos after I get out of quarantine. It'll really help me if I have your support. So I appreciate it and thank you and I'll see you next time.